What's going on YouTube? I'm here today with the Tractor Slash 4x4 Ultimate. Uh, we are exploring some new grounds. Uh, I don't know if we'll get kicked out of here or not. I know this place used to have a lot of troubles with like quads and people riding dirt bikes and whatnot back here. Uh, it says no gas powered aeroplanes on the sign, but this is neither gas powered nor an aeroplane. So I don't think we'll have an issue, but who knows so we'll ride around a little bit over here and see if anyone kicks us out it's a little bit wet on the grass not too bad well, maybe it is pretty bad I don't think there's anything for us to jump off of over in this place, but we shall take a look and see. This is definitely wet over here. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to get any jumps here today. And it looks like we soaked up the RC. Not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to go to the normal spot today, but when I got there, there was some sort of little kid soccer game going on. Uh, right in the area where we usually run, so that's not going to happen today. So we're really here, down the block, at the local, I believe this is a middle school, or, no, it's probably an elementary school. But anyway, that's how we got here today. It looks like we'll be cleaning this one, just like we'll end up be cleaning the wrestler. I actually went out and bought a uh, Rustler 4x4 bumper. It is looking pretty good on there. It fit quite nice and didn't need to be adjusted at all, which is awesome. I definitely wish this place had some jumps of some sort, something I can at least get a little bit of air off of, but I, uh, I don't see nothing around here. Oh, she's getting quite dirty. Look at that filth. So since it's so wet out here today, I don't think we'll be taking it to the baseball diamond at all. Uh, that on top of the water would just make a muddy, muddy, muddy mess. I am not in the mood for that. We're just going to keep her on the grass, some flat ground running. Wanted to get in a couple jumps, definitely to test out that rear bumper, see if it made any difference on coming down on the rear end or if it was going to bend up the body. 
because the body does touch on that rear bumper just a slight bit so when that thing flexes upwards uh, it will be pushing on the body I think that it will just bend the motor section of the body a little bit and be all right but I was kind of hoping they get a couple of rollovers in today which might sound weird who wants to roll over a new body uh, just to see if that was going to work the way I think it's gonna work but with no jumps out here today and this place being so slick I don't see myself rolling this thing over even if I tried and I do it on cue but it's still not gonna land on the rear end so not gonna be able to test the bumper However, it does look good and fit good, so that's enough for me for now. Definitely need some new tires on here with better traction. We don't get much grip at all on grass. Pretty sure these tires are meant for more of a dirt or gravel surface than a grass surface. Well, that definitely got some air. Definitely rolled over at least once. My lord. It seemed to be intact. Alright, we can catch a little bit of air there. Ain't gonna be much, but definitely a little. So I also went ahead and put the uh, Traxxas metal motor mount in there uh, to help dissipate some of the heat from the motor. Seems to be working great. Um, had it full blast a couple times now. Uh, we're in some pretty decent length grass. Uh, definitely spinning some tires because of the water. So it should be building up some heat and we're only at 117. Pretty good. Not bad at all.
definitely struggling to get traction with the water out here. You can hear it. Okay, so that was actually not thermal shutdown. That was the end of the battery pack there. Um, seems kind of short, but when I went back and looked at the amount of time I was videoing for, it seems about spot on. So, we're on battery pack number two. We'll see how long this one lasts. These are the Awamfi 3S. 5,000 milliamp hour. They're pretty tall for what they are. Uh, we have the largest battery bar on here on the slash, and they're just fitting snugly. So they are a bit large for what they are, but they are a hard case 3S LiPo that's not too expensive. So they're right up my alley. After all that running, full throttle quite a bit, uh, we only had the temperature up to about 141, which is pretty good. It's, that's not bad for running in such tall grass and really giving it a good throttle. Just holding the, holding the temperatures well with that new motor mount in there. And I don't even have thermal paste in it yet. If I put thermal paste in between the motor and the motor mount, we'll be getting even better temperatures faster. So this is actually how I get to and from all the bashing spots around here. This is the Xiaomi M365 uh, electric scooter. I actually went and upgraded it to the Pro version. It has the, um, the dashboard on there. It tells you how much battery life, how fast you're going, if Bluetooth's connected, all that sort of stuff. Um, really enjoying this thing. You get a good distance out of it. It's easy to uh, just hop from spot to spot with the RC car. No need to waste gas or anything like that. Just hop on and go. I'm not allowed, I'm not, well, I'm allowed to, but I'm not able to carry so many spare parts and things like that with me. Uh, just due to the fact that we're confined to a backpack. So, it's not the greatest, but I'm able to carry what I need for most runs and get a full video out there. Anything too bad breaks, we're going to want to take it home to repair it anyway, not really repairing on location. And possibly thinking about getting an electric bicycle. Those things have a range of about 50 miles as opposed to 18, but they're also about $900. So that's a bit of a decision to make. It's amazing, this place is right down the block from the other park, and there's literally zero goose poop here. It's quite awesome for running flat ground, but if you're looking for somewhere to go off jumps, not so great. Seems to be the only place we can catch a little bit of air, and it's not exactly a stable takeoff or landing. So, not ideal.
I think we've got a stick caught or something. Oh yeah, definitely had some twigs caught in there. They were getting stuck on the motor fan as well as in one of the rear drive shafts. I popped them out real quick and one more clicking. I was getting a little bit later in the morning. Seems like this place is drying out quite nice. If I only would have showed up 45 minutes later, we wouldn't have got the body so nasty. But I have things to do this afternoon, so showing up a little later wasn't exactly an option. Might get another video in late, late this afternoon, uh, but I highly doubt that. We've got a very small window of time to work with, and I don't see that happening. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and check on the temperatures real quick. So that's awesome. We're still only hitting 141, even with that good bit of bashing we're giving to her. Not really throwing her in the air so much, but I am tossing her full throttle quite a bit. Oh, and we're up and over. Let's see if we can recover. Oh, not going to recover. We'll be back after we flip this over. And we're back. Now that it's drying out, we're getting a little bit more traction roll. Which is okay, which means we're getting more traction. We're going to get a little more speed out of her. Okay with that. It's going to have to be a little easier on the steering. So we went to the hobby shop this week, the uh, the wheel hexes for the new wheels were in, but the wheels themselves weren't in yet. So hopefully this week they'll come in and we'll have the rustler out again later on in the week. I think, possibly, when we go pick up those wheels, we might pick up a new motor and ESC for the rustler as well. Looking at the Hobby Wing Max 8. As well as the same motor that's in the armor infraction. Yes, that would be quite funny. Armor motor and a Traxxas wrestler. Ow. 
That was a harsh landing. Is there any damage? Mm, no visible damage just yet. Seems like she's driving just as straight as she was before. Everything looks to be all right. That was quite a tumble wumble. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. It's been the Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate. Um, did some new upgrades to it since you've last seen it. It has the uh, the Rustler 4x4 bump, back bumper on it. Uh, it's got the metal motor mount in there. It's running quite well today. Quite dirty, but quite well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe.